Hi guys, welcome back to Rav's Retreat, my little home of wood turning. We're not in the shack again today. We've actually been sorting out some wood in the shack and by golly it needed sorting. So I thought I'd uh, make a few more videos to add on to the Woods for Wood Turners video um, series I've been making. Um, as I've been sorting through the, uh, the, the different woods in my uh, workshop, I sort of cherry picked a few pieces that might be of interest to you. Uh, if you're anything like me, I like to see what other wood turners are using, you know. What, what woods they're using, what woods are available in their part of the world. So, here we go, we've got this lot to look at. Um, I'm probably not going to be able to do the whole lot in one video, so again, I will split it up into two videos. We'll deal with the right hand side first and then the left hand side. Right guys, let's get going. First of all, we have a nice piece of Massa Birch here. A really nice timber. Birch is one of my favourite timbers anyway, but Massa Birch is simply stunning. Um, unfortunately, it's a simply stunning price as well. Um, although I did manage to drop on uh, a few logs of it that were uh, sort of a quarter of the price that they should be. So, I'm not too bad. Um, but generally I don't make large items out of it. Um, I generally only use it for, for pen making. Uh, because it's that expensive. But uh, yeah, it's a nice piece. Formed in a similar way that ambrosia maple is, you know, the the uh, the grub eats through the uh, the wood, and then the wood produces a resin to fill in those pathways. All right, let's move on. Here we have a, a lovely six inch by six inch by three inch piece of coca bolo. Now, if you've never turned coca bolo before. You need to. It is absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful timber. It's hard to explain how beautiful this timber is. Um, you know, not only have you got the browns, you've got reds, you've got oranges, sometimes purple colour as well. Um, it's a stunning, stunning wood. Extremely heavy, extremely dense. Um, I was lucky to drop on quite a lot of it at half price or actually it was less than half price I mean for a piece this size you would normally be looking around about 20 to 25 pound and I got this for 12 pound so I have got quite a lot of it we'll move on here we have another one of my favorite woods the coat or Mexican rosewood. This again, now if you want to turn an exotic timber but you don't want to pay an absolute fortune, well this is a good timber to choose. You know, it looks amazing. You know, it's got some stunning features in it. I mean look at the, look at that. Beautiful. Really nice timber. Look at the end grain there. You know, and a piece like this would probably cost you about maybe eight to twelve pound. In fact, let's have a look. Oh, nine pound fifteen pence, which in dollars would equate to about maybe sixteen dollars, something like that. So it's not a stupendously expensive timber, but yet it's an extremely nice looking timber. I've got quite a bit of the coat, it's one of my favourite woods. This is a piece of lignum vitae, or lignum vitae as some people call it. Um, when you go and get a piece of lignum vitae now, unfortunately it's not usually brown in colour, it's usually yellow and green, um, which is not good. But uh, I chose this piece because 
look at the end grain there. I don't know if you can see it. It's really unusual. It's got some real features going on in that wood. So it should make a nice little bowl. It's a nice wood to turn. Turns very easily. Very heavy. Very dense. Um, it can be a little bit, little bit hard to get to lacquers to, to bond with it. I usually use oils, so that's not a problem. But it does produce its own oil, and that's why it used to be used for uh, bearings and blocks and tackle and, and stuff like that. It could lubricate itself. Move on. Here we have another piece of coca bolo. Tells you I've got quite a bit of it. Um, when I went in the shop I noticed the goat on super special offer and I got about six or seven hundred pound in my pocket so I virtually bought them out of coca bolo but you know you've always got it in then haven't you can't really see much of it through the wax unfortunately but take it from me it's a stunning wood and if you've turned it you'll know what I'm on about Next up, lemon wood. Now this is a wood I've had in my shack for about eight years and I've never got round to turning it. It looks somewhat similar to Pau Amarello, but it isn't Pau Amarello. It's called lemon wood. So if you've turned any of this, maybe you'd like to uh, tell me about it, how it turns and whatnot, how it looks in the comments, please would be much appreciated. Right, here we have a nice piece of Honduran walnut. Again, one of my favourite timbers. Um, not too expensive, but when polished up properly, it looks astonishingly good. Beautiful timber. This timber has got one of the highest... Um, oh, what's the word? You know when you can look into a piece of timber, chatoyance, I think that's the, the posh word for it. It's got one of the, it's simply, if I just rotate it like that, you can see it. And it's not even polished, you know. It's a fantastic timber, and again, not too expensive. It ain't cheap, but it ain't expensive either. Right, next up we have... A, a lovely piece of olive wood but unfortunately you can't really see much of it because of the wax that, that's in it I keep meaning to get this wax scraped off so it'll dry out but I never seem to get around to it there's another piece next to it so I'll show you this this is what olive wood can look like look at that beautiful or what really nice wood unfortunately it's not a very nice price anymore it's very expensive but but then again i mean just looking at it you know it's going to be expensive all the best looking timbers tend to be ex expensive apart from birch birch i think looks really good but yet you know it's not expensive at all but there you go there's a nice piece of olive wood Right, we'll move on to the last piece for this video, and this is a piece of Imbaya. This is a piece of, what is it, 5 inch? I think I measured it wrong, it's actually 6 inch by 6 inch by 3 inch. Imbaya used to be reasonably, reasonably priced, but unfortunately now it's gone sky high, because apparently they reached the export limit for it and they couldn't export no more so it forced the prices you know up into the stratosphere um, nice looking wood I don't think it's worth the money that it costs um, you can drop on some that's really nice looking but uh, most of it it's just it's just an average timber it's nothing super special it smells really nice though whilst you're turning it it's got a nice uh, peppery smell to it helps clear the sinuses <laughs> right guys i thank you for watching um, on the next video we'll deal with that lot there 
I thank you for watching and I'll bid you a fond farewell. Take care in your workshops and uh, watch those eyes, lungs and fingers. Take care guys. Catch you in a moment.